The Competition Commission is busy with an inquiry on rent manipulation. The question should correctly be directed at the Competition Commission and not the Reserve Bank. But for the benefit, uh, for your benefit, let me say the following. In 2001, South Africans believed that some chaps are sitting somewhere conspiring against us to weaken the rent. These chaps were conspiring somewhere to weaken the rent. And in 2002, we launched a commission of inquiry into the rapid depreciation of the rent. You can Google it. You will find it on the website of the Department of Justice. It's a thick report, otherwise known as the Maybeck Report. Before the commission could come to an end, a bank approached the Reserve Bank with a, an offer of a settlement. And the settlement was that the transactions they entered into will be unwound, and the profits they had made would be forfeited. The difference between that inquiry and the inquiry of the Competition Commission is that that inquiry dealt with bridges of exchange control regulations. That is why the Reserve Bank was involved, because it was bridges of exchange control regulations. For completeness, in 2009-10, the rent was appreciating. South Africans believed that somebody is conspiring against us to make the rent so strong and make the life of South African exporters a living hell. No commission of inquiry was called then. In 2015, we picked up globally that there were reports of market abuse by institutions in various markets. For your benefit, if you remember, in the UK, there was the LIBOR uh, manipulation uh, issue. And there were co concerns also in the foreign, exchange, uh, the foreign exchange markets. We decided that we are going to start making inquiries. And we asked the former senior deputy governor of the Reserve Bank, Mr. James Cross, to lead a process to establish whether there were uh, any abuses. That report is available on the South African Reserve Bank website. Amongst its key recommendations was that we must develop a code for the foreign exchange market in South Africa. As we were trying to develop that code, we established that the BIS was working on a global code. South Africa joined that process of developing the global code. And we didn't just say that we have adopted the code. We actually pledged our commitment to the code. That pledge is on the website of the South African Reserve Bank. We are not the only ones. Many other central banks around the world have done a pledge of a similar nature. Whilst we were busy with that inquiry, the Competitions Commission approached us and said to us that they have picked up news from the for some foreign authorities that amongst the global manipulation of alleged manipulation of exchange rates, is also a rent dollar pay. And based on that, they are embarking on an, a process of inquiry. They approached us and asked us for assistance because we are in the foreign exchange market. We spent hours and hours with them. We provided them with all the assistance they require. Should they require any further assistance from us, they will get it. But they are the competent authority
to investigate any allegations of market abuse, abuse or market manipulation. They must be given the space to do their work and follow their processes, and we should not be burdening them with asking for running commentary. They are the competent authority on these matters. That's all I could assist you with. Beyond that, you are not going to get any other comment from the South African Reserve Bank.